How you doing, people? This is Cosmic Brother, also known as um, Tony Agarat. Sometimes that's what I'm known as. Sometimes I'm known as Double A. Other times I'm known as Amrakan. It all depends on how far back you know me. Anyway, today's my first video blog, so don't expect any type of professional mannerisms or skilled camera work or or um, polished. You know, blog. This is not going to be polished. This is just first run. I'm going to post it however it turns out. Okay. First thing I want to talk about is my boy, Strong Island Hip Hop Magazine. They are looking for models. You can contact them and they'll tell you when and where they have their next model shoot. The information for that will be posted over the front of this video. Don't worry about that. I'm sure it will. Okay. Another thing I want to talk about today. Are you really a, ne a, a geek? Are you really a geek? Or are you just say you're a geek? Are you really a nerd? If you are, you should have a subscription to Popular Mechanics. You got to have a prescription to Popular Mechanics. You can't be a nerd unless this comes in the mail every month. If it doesn't, you're faking it. You're really one of the cool people, you know. And you could be a cool person and a nerd, but you can't be a nerd without the magazine, okay? Or discover. You can't just watch it on TV. It has to come in the mail, and you have to read it. There's many interesting things in here. Like, for instance, is the universe built for life? This is something, this is a topic of mine I always tell people when they talk about life is a miracle. Get the hell out of here. There's no such thing as life is a miracle because this universe has about 180 trillion stars. Stars like our own planet, like our own sun. See, I'm messing up. This is what I'm telling you. I'm going to tape it just the way it is. Mess ups and all. No go backs. There are right now 347 known planets known planets we're not counting the universe because they can't see everything in the universe but if there are trillions of stars like the star we revolve around what will make you think or make you so arrogant as to think that the only sentient life form in this whole universe would be on this one microscopic infinitesimal small rock around one star can you really be so arrogant were you taught so stupid growing up that your mind cannot expand past indoctrination? I guess not. I, for one, know that there must be life everywhere else in the universe because there's water everywhere else in the universe. That is proven. It can be detected. All the building blocks of life can be detected in the universe. We just can't focus in on a planet, focus past an atmosphere, and see what's on planets outside of our solar system. And yes, they find planets outside of our solar system every day now because technology dispels stupidity. Slowly though, very slowly. In some cases, technology can lead to stupidity, but it eventually dispels it. Okay? Now, if you know anybody who's suffering from Alzheimer's, you need to read some articles on Alzheimer's that show that certain proteins in the brain create the problem with Alzheimer's. You can, there's certain things you can get that should be able to help you with Alzheimer's. Okay, there's a protein called ADDLS. It's a toxic protein. It builds up in the brains of Alzheimer patients. And it causes cell death. So if you know anybody with Alzheimer's in your life, look it up. You might be able to help them. Okay, that's what, that's what you got to do. You got to read all the time. There's all, you don't know how much you're missing when you don't read. Now, the UFO thing. I'm not even going to touch that. that. To me, it's stupidity. Whether or not UFOs exist, who knows? I don't know. I haven't seen one. I can't say I have. You know, and then tell you, oh, yeah, you got to be UFOs. That ain't true. They don't have to be other people in spaceships traveling through the universe. That, that doesn't have to be truth at all. 
Okay, another thing. Evolution. A lot of people think it's some sort of myth because they don't understand. You don't understand what evolution is in some cases. I don't think you understand what you're talking about. See, evolution is not where it's not a straight line. It's not like bacteria and then human beings. There are missteps. There are all kinds of different ways that nature grooms every species. So for instance, you know they're taking a chicken right now. What they're doing is taking chicken eggs and they're turning off certain genetic markers so that they can revert the chicken's DNA to a form before it was a bird, more like a dinosaur. Now, I don't know if they've actually done it yet because you know something about these scientists. They'll tell you they're going to do something, but they did it 20 years ago. That's another thing you should uh, assume. Anything you see in a magazine or on TV and they're talking about something they're going to do, they done did it. Just you don't know about it. Just assume that they did it already. And you're just not going to see the experiment because it's somewhere very private, very classified, secreted. You're not going to find where they did it. Unless you are, of course, in the military and you have that kind of clearance or you're a top-notch scientist, which um, neither am I, neither of them, whether in the military or a top-notch scientist. So I have never seen these things with my own two eyes. But I have fascinated on these things. I've imagined them a long time ago. 25 years ago, 10 years old, 11 years old. So I would think that that kind of stuff is possible. I don't know about you, but I do. Now, maybe I should cut this a little short because I know I'm just running on and on. Just running on and on. But uh, another problem we have in this country, another problem, what, what am I talking about? We don't have any problems. This country is perfect. There's no such thing as a recession. It's an illusion. It's an illusion to make you sad, make you depressed, make you need more pharmaceuticals. Therefore, you know, more pharmaceuticals, more money for old, old, old white money. That kind of stuff that you think you can't ever get away from. I keep looking at the viewfinder instead of in the camera. I'm sorry, but it's my first. I'm going to get it together. The next time it's going to be a little better. Okay? Alright.